do you see the industry moving a little bit more to what we have seen in Hollywood with rather than just having everything over Q4, having big games throughout the year? I do see that, and I definitely think what you saw with Q1 at this point is definitely different. You've seen games elongate out into Q1, which I think makes a lot of sense. We've seen, what we have actually seen is that um, our holiday season now really goes from the 1st of November all the way through the end of January. And so it provides a great opportunity to stretch those games out. And so I think what you're seeing is people are trying to stretch them out. And instead of just putting them all in November, you're actually seeing that stretch out. And Q1, again, um, shows that off, where a lot of games have moved into Q1, making it a very, very strong quarter for us. And when it comes to the last few years, Call of Duty has ruled when it comes to breaking entertainment records, becoming the biggest game of the year. Yeah. What are things uh, looking like from your feedback and pre-orders for Black Ops 2? Well, I can't give you specific details on that, but like I said, every major title that we're launching is up significantly, many of them double digits. We fully expect, based on the trends that we're seeing now, that Black Ops 2 will be our largest launch in history. So. So it looks like the Activision is going to do it again when it comes to that. Definitely with that. <laughs> so it's going to be great. And then I also like you to address just how you've seen the industry evolve uh, from the digital space and how you guys are uh, looking at that space moving forward. Absolutely. I mean, digital, especially when it comes to digital that's close in to video games, has evolved dramatically. When you look at the growth, growth is really taking place in two major segments. In downloadable content related to the, the sale of a physical good and in the mobile space. And I think those are very different occasions. Both are very relevant to gamers, but very different occasions. So I like to say that you kind of have that that gold experience where you have the 7.1 Dolby, you've got 1080p, generally a console or a PC driving it in your house, and that's kind of the gold standard for entertainment. So what we see is downloadable content is a great way just to extend that gameplay. And that's what we've really focused on in our stores, is making it really simple. You might have heard that we just changed the way that we, that we download Microsoft um, DLC at this point. We've now made it incredibly easy. It used to be that you had to put a 25-digit code in with a controller. Took all of that away. Now we send you an email as soon as you buy it in our store. You hit two clicks on an email, and it begins to download before you ever leave the store. So it's really cool. So we've really focused on taking downloadable content and making it very simple and easy for the customer to get. Because what we found was people didn't know that downloadable content existed. All this great content was being made, nobody was buying it because they didn't know about it. In fact, when people buy downloadable content at GameStop, 50% of those people had never bought DLC before. So we're driving tremendous incrementality, and that's why you see tremendous growth taking place in that. Now, over on the mobile side, I think there's some really interesting things going on, on the mobile side. Much more fragmented, you have a lot more players making a lot less money in that space. But the, again, what it, what it needs is someone to come in and curate, show what games are the games that gamers are going to like. Our 20 million Power Up Reward customers that we have, we have a great arsenal of some of the best gamers in the world. These people spend more money on gaming than anyone. And so we, see, we know that they're playing mobile games as well as playing uh, physical games. And so we think that there's a great opportunity for someone like a GameStop to be in the mobile space to help them identify which games they want to play.